Hey everybody, Mondak here. I uh, hope everybody's had a great week. Um, if you're new here to the, the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell so you get some notifications that I put out a movie uh, or video content. But uh, let's get into this thing. First things first, got some pork chops about to pull off of here. Boy, I've been looking good. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Today, just kind of showing a little bit of the Jeep. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen it in Jeep Fixer 300. Uh, this is his Jeep, but got her pulled out of the weeds. She needs lots of work, but I figured, you know, what a good time with everything going on, this pandemic, how the world is going, um, elections coming up. All that good stuff, but to get the old girl up and, and ready to go, you know, like I say, she needs a lot of work, but, um, you know, it'll be a good rig to jump in just in case I have to and uh, go off in the hills, you know, so we're going to start doing some work on this old girl, getting her up to par, got the lift kit for it, got to fix the frame on it, uh, the body not too worried about it right now i just want to get her mechanically sound so that uh, at any time i can jump in it and just roll out but hope everybody's doing well um i'm hoping to bring some more videos on this old thing to you guys and uh you know take you along the adventure and see how she progresses it's a 95 um she is an eastern jeep as you can tell so hence all the rust and all that good stuff but needs a lot of love uh, it's got the four liter got the five speed it's a actually a sahara edition so it has the ac which somebody yarded out of it the uh, compressor but everything else is still there and you bet i'll be getting that fixed my big old butt can't be in there without it so <laughs> even though it's got the removable top it's nice to have the uh, ac in it but we'll get that fixed up i just have the bumper sitting on there right now got to get it all uh, mocked up get the winch put back on it and uh she should be pretty good so like i say i got a four inch lift for it looking for some 33s it'll be um a good run around that's for sure so um, dependability is going to be key looks uh they'll come later so on the subject of this little pandemic that we're all having um you know in the in the state that i moved to uh washington you know it's a very blue state and i try not to get real political on my uh, channel at all but there's some things that i don't agree with with this uh mandate of the mask and all that good stuff last i checked as a citizen of the united states you are supposed to be voting on uh things like this new laws and you know stuff like that so you know it kind of irritates me a little bit that uh, they're trying to pull all this and there's a lot of people that just you know they do what the government tells you to do and it's driving me nuts you know it's breaking families apart friends apart you know people are just not seeing eye to eye so you know with, with that being said um i stand in my beliefs of uh as a citizen of the united states and you know i'll do what i fit or what i feel is fit for my family so um, I hope all you guys are staying safe out there. You know, don't let everybody break you down like they're trying to. And, uh, you know, by the election, it's all going to be over with. And, you know, this part anyway. But I'm sure there's going to be plenty of different things that will be going on after the election. So um, keep up on your preps, you know. Don't let it uh, go to the wayside. Right now is the best time and the most crucial time to stay on them. So... You guys take care and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great week.